In this video, we will discuss how LLMs are trained and the steps following in training LLMs. So let's start. There are three steps through which an LLM is trained, right? The first step is called pre-training. Pre-training is done on unlabeled data, huge data. And it is done on, and this is the most expensive step because you are training it on the internet. The internet is available on the internet. The amount of money is available on the internet. And you let the AI decide its capabilities. Gurukul model. Shuru ke das saal. Soch na sikhao. Phir bolo. Kon si vidya sikhni? Shastra vidya sikhni? Gyan sikhna? Google sikhna? Kya sikhna? That is the first stage. Pre-training. Or ye aapke liye to kar rakha hai badi badi companies ne. Google ne kar rakha hai. Notebook LLM hai. Itne saare AI tools hai. Jahaan pe aap pre-training kar rahe ho. Or bol rahe ho. Or aap khud apne models deploy kar sakte ho. Right? You can do all of that. Like there is a place called open router. This step is the most expensive step. Next step is called fine tuning. Fine tuning means training it on a smaller labeled database. If Kritika works in a company and there's a lingo that is specific to the company, she, that lingo has to come into the LLM in some way. So it will be on labeled data. Labeled data means if I have to label Dheeraj, Dheeraj stays in Hyderabad, works in this company. Thus, I have different attributes which are labeled to his data set or data value. And why do you do it on labeled data? Because you know the answer. Maybe, just a bit spill on me, if you stress, it will be a light lever. Light lever. Right? I call it, just a KGB, I call it PISA, bro. PISA. So it's a labeled data set. Right? Where I am saying something, I mean something else, but I am labeled it in a certain way. This is a less expensive step. Companies do it every day to fine tune. A very good example of this is Harvey.ai. It's your lawyer, AI lawyer. Big companies use it. It's a billion dollar company, right? It's a fine tuned model. It is tuned to legal data sets in the US or in some other countries which they are essentially training it on. Now, what is the beauty of this? All of your AI tools that you're using, besides GPT maybe, right? Whatever application layer, they are all fine-tuned models. This is a cheap step. This is where all we build our application. This is the cheaper step. This is the core step. What do we call RLHF? What is RLHF? Fine-tuning, you have a label set. So, you have a person and you have a label. It is right or wrong. Right or wrong. Whatever the output is, she is labeling it across. RLHF mein kya hota hai? Let's assume I ask GPT a question, which is the best product company in the world? Just put it across. Just put this question in your GPT. And also write, give me a one word answer. That's the constraint. Most people are giving Apple. But why is that? If you ask it to Claude, it will give a different answer. I am telling you. Why okay. did a different foundational model give a different answer? So what happens in RLHF? Your foundational models, give, you give the same question in three different types of models. RLHF is when you essentially label which is the best among the three and say this is the best answer, right? And that is where OpenAI's current models work. They use human feedback. It is better for people to label than to write and say this is the right answer. In fine tuning, what you do? You label the data. You say, I have labeled it, right? And in RLHF, you get three types of labels or five types of labels and you say which is the best label. So, you know, pre-training is done, fine-tuning is done, right? And this is the third example. Write a haiku about paper clips. See, there, got, there were three options, right? Very same prompt, three different responses. You can choose whichever one you want to essentially choose across, right? And it is typically a person that does that. And in RLHF, you can also give labeling instructions, right? Like in custom GPTs, if I make a custom GPT, I don't know how, how many of you have made, tried to make it ever, right? So let me just figure it out, right? I have to create a GPT. So what do you do? You go on the GPT store. Here you are in the GPT store. So simple. GPT me login kiya. GPT is dikh hai. GPT is pe click kiya. Upar create ka button dabaya. Yahan pe aapne configure kiya, kuch bhi naam de diya. Jaise maan liya Shravan GPT. Right? Some description, you are able to see the UI also here, that what the hell does it do? These are labeling instructions that they are saying. So here you are giving human feedback in that custom GPT. 
and saying always start the answer with shravan bhaiya thinking let me show you something else around it also back let's go back let's go to swagwala pm gbd who is a great pm shravan bhaiya thinking it's the labeling instruction that i gave it to give to it right make sense then you essentially go to the gpt store again you click on create whatever you want to you can essentially also give conversation starters that already pre prompted questions who is a pm do pms need an mba the question is already there right if you create it and finally this is your knowledge base where you add transcripts right you essentially you can what you can do if you want to create shravan bhaiya gpt kuch nahi karna in sari recordings ki transcript nikalo turboscribe se aur usko yahan pe upload mar do you will create another shravan gpt right ab thode semantics honge tumhe labeling instructions sahi se deni padengi wo sab cheeze karni padengi thode bahut error cases ko figure out karna padega iron out karna padega but you will be able to create a swag wala pm gpt right and you can also typically choose what kind of recommendation model do you want to use right do you want to use 4.1 4.1 mini every model has different use cases hum batayenge models different kaise hote hain wo bhi batayenge we'll, we'll figure it out and then you can use the canvas which is the code the code interpreter you can and you can also create actions around it tum yahan se actually actions jaise tumne koi authentication karke apne gmail ko integrate kar diya aur yahan pe tumne koi koi schema dal diya और कोई प्राइवेसी पॉलिसी डाल दी तो तुम जीमेल को यहां से मेल ऑटोमेट करके जीमेल पे भेज सकते हो वी विल डू इट वी विल डू दैट एक्टिविटी आज करने की जरूरत नहीं है आगे करेंगे बट यू देर आर अ बंच ऑफ फंक्शनैलिटीज विच जीपीटी हैज ऑलरेडी गिवन टू यू द फर्स्ट वन इज वेरी सिंपल नेम द जीपीटी ऐड द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऐड द इंस्ट्रक्शंस इवन आस्क जीपीटी इटसेल्फ व्हाट इज द बेस्ट वे टू राइट इंस्ट्रक्शंस इट विल गिव इट टू यू जैसे वापस जाओ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई हैव टू आस्क give me the prompt structure for doing best discovery for shravan who is a pm give an example to see now you just change you are a discovery copilot i am a product manager briefly describe whatever your problem statement is help me identify the top user needs give the type of input right you can put maybe a transcript or whatever right and then you use the structure and it will give you an example also and it will give you the output also right and this is and the very same like give me the instruct best way to give instructions to a custom gpt see it told as an instruction said define the scope give the voice and personality give the context give the task instructions give the output style and you and you could very well use this very prompt and bana bhi diya usne you assist me shravan dikku is building a you think like karpathi you speak like navel you explain like fenimen ye bhi kahan se laya usne kyunki maine baatein kar rakhi hain theek hai you have a sharp witty bangalore founder tone a wide fluff right be brutally honest slightly philosophical always structured context my audience is pms engineers founders course hands on ai first deeply conceptual my content real stories deep mental models practical tools you assist me across pm writing everything so and then always break down into structure use quotes by steve job elon musk kevin kelly or karpathi ask questions if something is missing for posts linkedin ready voice for strategy slide ready bullets for discovery table with pain points persona quote and frequency it just made it for me because it has my information isn't it crazy insane so if you do great prompting gpts are very very powerful so increasing label as a human machine collaboration llms can become better right now another thing this is typically chatbot arena this is by the company scale.ai right 
स्केल डॉट ए आई अभी आपने सुना भी होगा फेसबुक ने पंद्रह बिलियन में खरीदी है वो कंपनी नॉट खरीदी फिफ्टी अक्वायर किया है बट दे बॉट द कंपनी फॉर फिफ्टीन बिलियन दे हैव दिस एल एल एम लीडर बोर्ड वेर पीपल जस्ट गिव फीडबैक to different models and it's a ranking it is the most important ranking in the world currently so all models they go up and down up and down up and down which model is doing better which model is not doing better and there are benchmarks benchmarks but why did this happen because what we figured out that llm scaling laws scaling laws mean becoming better right were surprisingly only dependent on two major parameters how many number of parameters are there in the llm how much data do we train it on if you have more parameters more compute and more data you will have a bigger machine that's why everybody is raising money open ai ne abhi fir se 8 billion raise kiye right they have raised more money than any entity in the history of humanity they have raised almost 100 billion dollars 100 billion dollars the enti- just for context the indian startup ecosystem since it started from flipkart has raised 39 billion dollars they raised 100 billion dollars in 2 years that so this is this is why it's so so interesting because the scaling laws are following two patterns if you have more variables and you have more data you will have more intelligence and that is so amazing right so they have general capabilities which they have done across right now it is also very interesting i want to show something so like for example i say give me the valuations of flipkart since 2015 right and tell me the approximate valuation of the company in 2030 theek hai ye mujhe pata nahi I don't want to use a general model. I am using a reasoning model for this because I am telling it to compute something for me. First, bring some data and do some analysis for me. Let's see what it does. Soch raha hai wo, aur kya kar raha hai piche? Ek decision tree ban raha hai, right? And because I said approximate valuation, it is using calculator or regression as a tool now. that's why it's a reasoning model right the general models four o types models they are just blurting out it's like people blurting out words they don't wait jo dimag mein aata hai wo likh dete hain so they are good for most general tasks see it started getting all valuations so it's saying it will cross 300 billion by 2030 let's try to see what it did it said its current valuation is 37 billion and it built some kind of a graph right walmart's filing is 35 billion 37 theek hai india's e-commerce is growing its cagr is slow to 15% market shifts from 35 to 25% ev to revenue multiple 1.5x by 2040 worst case 1.5x ho jayegi right second time 65 billion theek hai 90 billion pull what is this range multiple industry resources have said online retail crossing 300 billion so it said i'm just taking a minimum multiplier where i'm saying the valuation will be 45 billion i'm taking a 2x multiplier if i take the cagr at 18 to 20% if i if the cagr if the growth rate of the industry is 22% so see is it not a decision tree if this happens then this happens if this happens then this happens if this happens then this happens so it said the approximate valuation will be 90 billion dollars right usne uska logic bhi likh diya ab mujhe main ye bhi puchta hu usse tell me how did you arrive at this conclusion and show me a conclusion and show me a graph for it let's see what it does इतनी पावरफुल चीज है हम और हम ऑटोमेशन के चोचलों में फंस गए क्या क्या नहीं कर सकती ये चीज ऐसा है तुम्हारे सामने एक फरारी रखी हुई है और इतनी इंटरेस्टिंग काम कर रही हो सो ऑटोमेशन ऑटोमेशन तो ठीक है यार वो सब थोड़ी सीख के जाओगे तुम एआई समझो कि हो क्या रहा है वहां वॉट इज इट वॉट इज इट डूइंग इन द बैकग्राउंड मोस्ट दैट्स वॉट यूल बी पेड फॉर इट्स 
it's also citing sources so it's using how many tools it's using it's using search it's using calculator it's using some algorithm in the background right so if you have to make a design diagram of this what is happening there is an llm tab tak wo kar raha hai apna kaam usko hum bada karenge there is an llm ek box hai uske baad bahut sare tools hai ek hai search dusra hai calculator तीसरा है रिग्रेशन इसी तरह के बहुत सारे टूल है इमेज जनरेशन का भी एक अलग टूल है इमेज जनरेशन दे हैव डिफरेंट टूल्स व्हाट डिड यू डू यू टोल्ड द एलएलएम टू सॉल्व अ कंप्यूट अ प्रॉब्लम द मोमेंट यू यूज्ड अ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड इन द प्रॉम्प्ट व्हिच इज अप्रोक्सीमेट this for me it automatically got the signal that it has to use a tool because it has to approximate it, right so llm automatically reached out to first search ki kahan se nikalu data search se nikalunga duniya bhar mein ka pada hua hai right fir kya karunga fir i will build some logic and i'll use the calculator then what i will do i will also use regression right and now i have to give a graph so i have to use image generation ab aap jaake dekhte hain ki kya hua see it did make you a graph it approximately assumed it a linear regression graph it made it for you so it's using insane technology so it's a computer sitting in behalf of you who is thinking who is a dumb computer but yet powerful in a lot of good things doesn't get tired it doesn't have food to eat right so ye cheez hoti hai so here the founder of open ai just made text from hand it automatically understood right that basically what website to make how did it happen because the prompt is information because even an image is fundamentally text that is going to an llm right an image is text only right so in that scenario it automatically generated and the better the model and now audio is there you can talk to gpt it can it can act like her if if anybody has seen the movie her right it will act like that right so today we stop here I hope you enjoyed today's session. You loved it, right? And you understood why AI is so powerful. It's a thinking paradigm change where you have to start believing that all devs have to move towards this mindset that product thinking is equally important and all product managers have to understand that building is also equally important, right? We are thinker doers. We are not just a thinker or a doer, right? both skills have to grow right and eventually your heart empathy towards things attention to detail observation capability everything has to grow 